All right. Please don't pop out at me. Oh, it smells so bad. This is like my worst beer. One thing about farm properties is a lot of them have old abandoned farmhouses and you guys have asked me in every video you get a little glimpse of this guy and everybody wants to know the story behind it so let's let's go for a tour of our old abandoned farmhouse and then hopefully mark can give us kind of the history of of these old houses it's kind of cool actually and it is a really neat old house but guys it's in really rough shape. The thing about having an old rundown house is you can see beauty in it. You can see beauty in the past and you can see like potential in the future. Uh, there's been no one living here for over probably at least 10 years. We've got a family of raccoons in the attic because there's no attic window. We have groundhogs living under this deck. Our beautiful wraparound porch. Our covered porch is now also falling apart. Yeah. She's in rough shape. Ariel just came down in the last storm. Lovely. Okay, so proof that the outside's in tough shape. And let's check out the inside. All right. standard issue in these old houses around here. The old kitchen, you basically your front door always walked into either another room full of doors or your kitchen. There's a door here, I think that went out to the deck. This is the basement. I'm really scared someone's going to jump in. Oh. I can't even open that. Alright, here's the bathroom. Deck. It had a heck of a view though. This would have been, I think this was the laundry room, I'm assuming. Yikes. But. Oh, nothing. It's just the back of the, it's the, back of the bathtub. Interesting. This room is actually really pretty. Wayne's cutting is really nice. It's pretty wood. And the real thick baseboard is nice. Nice details. Open curtains, do we all we all had that? I mean if you grew up in the 80s, you had that for sure. Guaranteed these walls are probably plaster and lath. So we probably just wallpapered so the plaster wouldn't come down. Very 80s, eh? The light blue flowers. Or the geese. And then of course the border with the hearts. <laughs> Monty would have seen his girls coming home at night. <laughs> Past curfew, I'm sure. All right, let's go see the upstairs. Another view, nice view out the 
of the field, which is nice. I actually really love this property. The ceiling is falling down from the attic. Okay, here's a bit in here. Oh, there's another bed right here. Interesting. Wood floor. These are cool. I always like those. I wonder if this is cool. Please, nothing pop out. Oh yeah, the whole closet. Cool. Okay, so there's the stairs, there's where we came up. This is the attic, the stairs up to the attic. This is, I don't know. Here's another little bit here. This house is huge, I have no idea. Oh, here's more of this window. I don't know what they call that, like stained glass? I don't know who put that in, if the builder put that in or? There's another bedroom. This one's actually a really big one too. Bedrooms are big. They must not have had a bathroom up here. Weird. Lots of bedrooms. So that's one, two, three, four bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom downstairs. Wow. All right. The best part of this house. Ooh, that's maybe not the best part. Tells you we have visitors in this house. Please don't pop out at me. Spiders. Right, I'm doing this for you guys. I hope you appreciate this because this is like my worst fear. Okay, this is a really cool part of this house. As long as I don't fall through the floor, is the attic. Look how awesome you can stand up in this attic. Isn't that amazing? And that's the window I can see from the barn. That's out. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool house. crazy. I mean, you gotta love the wallpaper. We all had the early, early 90s wallpaper and border. <laughs> I know our house did. We've done a lot of painting in our house and this house would require more than that. So yeah, it would be nice to, you know, bring it back to its original beauty and glory, but I can only imagine how much money you'd have to soak into this house. And we already have a house, so the kids are not keen on <laughs> living here. So, I don't know. It is cool to tour it and see the beauty. A little history, what I know of this farm anyway. Uh, Mark's mom and dad lived in our farmhouse where we live now, which is right across the road. And Dave, uh, Mark's dad, Dave, ran the pigs. We had pigs at that time, and we were running around, I don't know, a thousand acres of crops. And uh, our main man who helped us with everything, you guys have met him and seen him on my videos, is Monty. So Monty's story is he worked for Mark's grandpa, so, so Mark's mom's dad, and then he worked for Mark's dad, and then he worked for Mark and now he works kind of part-time for Mark's brother so it's uh he just he's to us I hate calling people a hired man because I'm like they're doing the exact same job as as us 
so I just call him a farmer, just like us. Uh, but not only that, he is a dear, dear friend. Uh, he watches this video, so I hope, hope it's okay that I showed his old house, but none of his stuff's in there, so I'm sure it's fine. So he lived here up until about, I'm gonna say, I don't even really know. I think it's about 10 years ago. And now he just lives just down the road from us, which is really good, really handy. He checks on the place when we're not here. He cuts grass for our in-laws. Like he just does, he just, he's just that guy. So that is kind of the history of this house. But as for like, you know, when, what year these all were built, I believe they're all kind of built around the same time. And Mark's got the story behind that, the history behind that. And I think it's kind of cool. So I'll let him talk more about the history and maybe dig in a little bit deeper in, in our farm history because I didn't grow up here. I grew up in a little village called Paris, Ontario. So about an hour and a half south east of us. So that's where my sister and her husband live now on the home farm and my parents live about 10 minutes from them. So, uh, so my family still lives east of me and this is Mark's home farm. So I'm gonna see if he'll maybe just sit down for a few minutes and talk to you guys more about our history because I think literally we just plopped in with videos and there's no like real backstory. So I'll see if he's willing to have a chat. I'm not sure manure spreader. No comment. Not the inside, the outside. So I toured Monty's house the other day and then I thought I'd leave it up to you to give a little history on those farmhouses because you said there was like a period of time that they were kind of all built. Yeah, so <clears throat> most of them are built in the early 1900s, like 1910. I think, like, there's a brick in our house that says 1913, but I can't remember when the First World War was, but there was, a, I think with the war uh, and some shortages, there was a spike in wheat price, and uh, I forget, I think wheat was selling for, like, some ungodly amount of money. Uh, Just one year? Uh, maybe for a year or a couple years, but basically it was a windfall uh, because the wheat price, I think if you were to figure out in like today's dollars, it was like 27 or $30 a bushel uh, versus us getting oh my God. six bushels right now. Serious? And they would have been getting like 40 bushels an acre. So they, uh, they would have made like this crazy amount of money, like so much that a lot of them paid off farms and uh, built houses. Built houses. So because of the boom, uh, with that money, uh, with that kind of really high price, there was two brick plants that were built in the area just to build. Well, the there was houses. one in Rogerville. I read. Yeah, well, I don't know if that was C4th, the one. But so depending on where the brick came from, I would, uh, one was yellow brick. Yep. And the other one was red brick. Which is our house. Yeah, so the yellow I think is a more natural clay. For this uh, area? For this area. And the red might have been a, I don't know, a different kind. An import, like me? Yeah, so anyways, that, that's kind of those houses. And, um, but, you know, back then you only had the farm. So you only right. had 100 acres. You might have right. had 150, and if you're a big farm, you had 200. So right. Yeah, two farms. So the original farms that we live on, they were go back to two brothers. Uh, one brother lived across the road, and one brother lived in our house. Uh, and uh, uh, 
I don't know how we ended up with the uh, farm across the road, but my grandparents, in the later part of their life, I kind of almost when grandpa retired from the telephone company, bought the farm we live on now. Right. So he was, he wasn't even really a farmer? No, no. Like, until the end of, he worked. like a hobby farmer. Yeah, like he worked off farm until he could afford to buy the farm, which is probably pretty indicative of today anymore, really. A lot of people have to do that, that we know. Getting into the stinky stuff. Oof. Take my breath away. So really that farm, the farm we live on, it's only been in the family. Uh, yeah, I thought I had asked dad when we bought it, but... I think you probably, my grandparents probably lived there for, I would say, 10 years. 10 years or more before we bought it in uh, 70... I think we probably bought it in 73. When you were born. Yeah, because I born. lived in our other house for like half a year maybe. Right. And then uh, been in this other house that we live in now since mom and dad bought the place from grandpa and grandma because we had a, a fire, excuse me. Fire in the barn we that you were building? No. Oh. No? They quit building it because we moved. Uh, we had the bank barn bird that dad had things in. Right. Right. He was in the process of building a new sow barn, I think it was, over there. And they never finished because we ended up buying Oof. the farm from Oof. grandpa and grandma. And they retired and went to God, north of Godridge, Sulphur. Right. Mark and I personally only own about 100 acres. And then we rent. Everybody asks, like, don't we own what we Yeah, we run? do. Like, we own a half. Now we do, half yeah. Half of the one farm. With your dad. Yeah. And then we own, so we own 100 acres and then we own another 400 acres. Yeah. Off, actually, 350. Right. With uh, my dad. Yeah. And then uh, his mom owns the, kind of the, almost the rest. Like between your mom and dad and brother, um, they kind of help. We all kind of own the land together. Family we all own the land. We yeah. rent it from the family. Right. And then we do rent 300 acres? Yeah. 200? No. How much is 10? 140. It's only 140 yeah. acres. Okay. So we <coughs> rent off out of family about 140 acres. All right. So I think that answers the question. Now you can get rid of me. Got to stop. The people are miss. Guys. I know people are missing you. So you'll hear back from Mark soon, but he's I'm he's busy. been really busy. And uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd have him on for a little treat for the people. I'd find it easier if I just went live for like one time. Well, why don't you do that? Up. We should just do that. Uh, On the weekends, we should go live. I don't know. It's, uh, weekends, we just... I gotta get my report done. Yeah. Okay. That's all they probably want to see. Yeah, well, I'm just uh, smelling. <laughs> Are you letting me off literally at the road? Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. So he kicked me out. He's in a bit of a hurry. It's Friday afternoon. We were hoping to maybe spend a little bit of time at the lake this, tomorrow, but I don't know. We have to stick around, I think, a little longer. We're just doing, getting into manure now. Anyway, I just thought I would let him talk about the farms. It's quite a history, uh, but not a long history. We're, we're, we're very much unlike a lot of farmers in this area of not you know, being here forever in a day. Uh, we call ourselves third generation, but it's really probably only really second, second in a bit. Uh, but definitely Mark's grandparents have had a big role in his life. Actually, Mark's mom and dad say that Mark reminds them of uh, Mark's mom's dad. So Mark's grandpa, who died very young, actually. So yeah, it's kind of interesting to know the roots. But uh, as for our house, it's home and we're happy to be here and have a place that we can call our own and everything has a history. And I thought it would be cool to share it with you guys. So thank you once again for being here.